In this video I will be showing how you can use uh, JPEG Repair to um, get full resolution JPEGs from um, Nick and Roll files that are affected by a stop ransomware family member. I previously ma made a video on um, Canon Raw files and uh, to uh, get the, the full resolution uh, JPEG from a Canon RAW file, several steps are required and some information from the JPEG is actually lost. This is due to the uh, ransomware uh, extend, extending its damage uh, into the JPEG that is embedded in the Canon RAW file. So uh, repairing uh, that uh, requires you to get a healthy JPEG from a healthy Canon RAW file, uh, glue that onto the corrupt file, and then some additional editing in JPEG repair was required to uh, cut the corrupted part of the image. So this is the video I did on that and um, so basically what you do is you, you uh, uh, extract a JPEG out of a uh, intact Canon RAW file, which I do here, and then you glue that onto a um, uh, corrupt Canon RAW file, and this will get you something like this will then look something like this then and this is the encrypted portion of the JPEG file and basically you had to um, cut that from the uh, JPEG and then eventually you could end up with something like this or this it, it also required some work in a uh, photo editor um, so I discovered by accident that uh, for uh, a Nick and Raw files this isn't required at all. The uh, full resolution JPEG inside a uh, Nick and Raw file survives the encryption. So in other words, the encryption that the, this specific uh, ransomware family encrypts only the first 150 kilobytes of a file and the entire JPEG is outside of this 100, uh, 150 kilobytes so it survives completely uh, which is an advantage we don't have to do all this trickery to uh, repair this embedded JPEG file and because we don't have to do that, we can just extract it. And uh, I don't know if you already know JPEG repair, but extraction can be done in JPEG. So uh, if you have got a uh, 100 uh, corrupt files or 2000 or whatever, you can just batch, you can just select those all and um, set, uh, uh, set a put a program to work. Uh, start extracting those JPEGs. So the corrupt JPEGs are here. So this is another thing I want to mention. These um, stop ransomware uh, affected files all get a uh, weird extension attached to uh, attached after the uh, normal extension. And uh, JPEG Repair only recognizes JPEG and NEF and CR2 and it will just not display all those other extensions. This is uh, so with the current version of JPEG Repair you have to rename all these so that the extension becomes NEF. And in the upcoming uh, update I will uh, address that so it becomes easier to select those files. I will show you that. So uh, in order to get a full resolution JPEG from those files, we're just going to select the extract, extract option, 
the extract tool you browse to the folder now this is what the current uh, version of jpeg repair will show you because it does not recognize those uh, funny extensions so i just added a option to show all files we select all files now uh, nick and raw files embed often or always i don't know that but the ones i've seen embed three jpegs a tiny thumbnail a medium preview and a full resolution preview now the only thing we have to tell uh, jpeg repair is that we want to skip the tiny thumbnail and we want to skip the medium preview the medium preview is uh, 16 times 1200 so if we go one option higher it will ignore those two smaller uh, jpegs and it will get us the full resolution uh, jpegs you don't have to specify exactly which resolution that is just skip the two smaller ones uh, we okay that and we tell it to repair and that's it basically uh, you can see it's uh, extracting the 6,000 times 4,000 uh, resolution JPEGs now. And um, of course, this is not as good as the uh, repaired raw file, but uh, compared to nothing, compared to a corrupt file, this may be a nice way to at least uh, be able to view your photos again. A JPEG repair, a repair is not free. I get a lot of comments. Uh, it's not free no it's not free okay so one file it could not extract a full resolution jpeg from now it could be that in this file the um, medium sized uh, jpeg is intact so if you would uh, remember this file name and uh, uh, you could go uh, and see if the lower resolution uh, jpeg is in there And so all the JPEGs are um, saved automatically in the same folder as uh, the corrupt files. Well, CESA, it's what I wanted to show you. Uh, I hope you never have to use this, but uh, if you're affected by this uh, ransomware, then this may be a good way to at least be able to view your photos again. Thank you for watching.